Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 31st. It is Halloween and uh, it's cold and rainy and all that kind of good stuff here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Typical October weather. Hopefully tonight we'll, uh, the rains will hold off so that those trick-or-treaters can get out there and engage in their tricks and get their treats. We shall see. Got my one of, one of my Phil Rivera pipes, um, nice little short pot, smoking some old Joe Krantz this morning. And it's still fairly early. I've been having difficulties um, sleeping because of knee pain, so that's that's not been fun for a couple of days now, but we'll, we'll get there. Going to see a new doctor uh, tomorrow, actually, Monday. Now, I know I am ultimately heading for a knee replacement. There's no question about that. Probably two knee replacements. What I want to avoid is having more than two knee replacements. And given my age and the length of time that knee replacements last, I want to put this off as long as I can. Within reason, I know that there comes a point where it's diminishing returns because you start to get more damage than is is good for when getting the uh, the implants in and all that. So and it's just a it's a juggling act. I'm working on it. I'll 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 get there. I've got several doctors that I'm talking to about this and I want to get a second opinion because the first one. The first orthopedic surgeon that I talked to I've got other doctors as well. But the orthopedic surgeon, yeah, he, I'm sure he's, he's perfectly great and, and, you know, fine doctor and everything, but he just, he looked at x-rays, he said, oh, you're going to need knee replacement, start getting cortisone injections, and when you can't stand it anymore, we'll replace your knees. And I, that was the last time I saw him. Like, from then on, it was just technicians injecting, well, probably, what, practical nurse? No, pardon. Forgive me, nurses. I, I don't mean in any way to, uh, to disparage you. But... It, it's just that's who I saw from then on. I never saw him again, and I guess it was just going to be until I said this doesn't work anymore, and then he would run back into the room and replace my knee. I just didn't like that. There was no discussion of you know. There's other things that we can do, and you know, it just was. You're getting your knees replaced, and maybe that's the case. I just like to hear it from more than one person. I notice as I look in the monitor, I'm wearing one of those shirts that my wife is trying to throw away. Don't tell her. Uh, so it is Halloween. I've always thought of Halloween as the official start of the holiday season, thus the, the bumper at the beginning of the, the video today. And that's why I get so upset with things like the Hallmark Channel starting to show Christmas movies the week before Halloween. Let Halloween happen. And then start to think about Thanksgiving and let Thanksgiving happen. We're doing Christmas before Halloween. We're, we're completely blasting through Halloween. And the only reason we pay any attention to it is the kids are involved. And then Thanksgiving just gets steamrolled. Uh, you know, it's a it's a day for football and overeating, and and we rush through Christmas. You know, enjoy them. They're here for a reason, you know. And I think it's important to, and this is probably true in in life in general. You know, make the time. Don't give in to the pressures that present themselves. Um, you know, just because Christmas commercials and Christmas movies and everything else are, are, are being thrown at you on TV in October, well, turn them off or ignore them. That's what I do because my wife is fanatical about Hallmark Christmas movies, so she's watching them. But I just ignore them, and uh, I'm having Halloween today. And, you know, this is... The, how many times have you had the experience where you, 
something is down the road, something's in the future and you plan for it and you're getting ready for it and everything. And, and then it happens and, and the next day you say, well, that was a big letdown. Well, it's because the all the build up to it and then, you know, it can only, it can only be what it is. And I think that's true of any holiday, and it certainly is true of Christmas, which is a very important holiday if you're a Christian. <sighs> I'm not talking about the commercialization of it. I'm just talking about the fact that we start to celebrate it earlier and earlier and earlier. <laughs> I'm an old man complaining. I'm going to shut up. You get the point. So this lighter, if I can get it open here, you can see this is not the world's best pipe lighter. the lid gets in the way but this is a Bauer Bauer Surefire yep Bauer Surefire Kalamazoo Michigan neat little Zippo like lighter I, I don't know if this preceded or did not precede Zippo so I'm not going to say it's a knockoff I had a bit of, um, well, let's just say my gathering of lighters got larger uh, in recent months. And I got a whole, I don't know, probably about 20 lighters over there that I'm going to do videos on. And you know, I'm really looking forward to restoring some of them and uh, just having fun with them. But I got to get through a lot of pipe work first. So I got those and, and I came down and I. I my flint on my Halloween lighter, which I did bring with me. This thing has chewed through two flints since I started using it at the beginning of October. The first one was the original flint, which I assume was a Zippo flint. Right? The second one, I didn't have any Zippo flints left, so I used one of the, um, oh, I threw it away, the Medic. Um, these guys one of their flints and that lasted like three days so anyway no flint in this couldn't find any flints this morning didn't want to go hunting for another lighter so I just pulled this one out it sparked I thought what the heck I squirted some fluid in it and the first time I hit this it lit so it really is a surefire mechanism in there I, I, was, I was impressed by that because this thing's probably been out of commission for quite some years. It's in pretty good shape though. It's, uh, it's aluminum bodied. It's got a bluish tint to it. I don't know if you can pick that up or not, but it's actually just slightly blue. Anyway, get yourself a Bowers Surefire. I don't do that. I know nothing about the lighter other than it lit for me this morning, and I'm happy about it. And I have some coffee here, I tell you. You know, I normally drink 8 o'clock coffee, but my buddy, my buddy Mark in Rhode Island, I owe you for this one, buddy. He sent me Alton Brown's Multitasker Blend Coffee, and it's, a, it's an interesting blend. I, I like it. I like it. So what it says here is, I hadn't read this before, the multitasker, toffee, black cherry, toasted sesame, and a dash of old library book. <laughs> it doesn't taste anything like that. Um, it's, it's good. It's, it's a very, how can I put this, it's a very, um, solid 
it, it's it's not in any way like over the top it's just a good coffee and it goes well with burley which you know that's important to me um i'm not gonna I'm not going to switch from 8 o'clock to, to multitasker just because, you know, you, you get used to something and it's comfortable. But it's it's really a very pleasant coffee. And I, if, if you're into the, you know, the, the burnt tasting um, over roasted stuff, you, you won't like this. But if, if you're more of a, you know, an 8 o'clock guy, a... Um, I'm, I'm trying not to say too many uh, grocery store blends because some of them are quite awful, like Maxwell House, I think is terrible. But if, if you're in that sort of genre of coffee, if you don't mind the occasional cup of uh, Wawa coffee, well, Wawa's got some pretty uh, diverse coffees now. You can get the burnt stuff there, too. You know what I mean. Middle-of-the-road American-style coffee, this stuff is great. <laughs> and it's smooth. And it, it really, it with a bowl of burley, uh, goes fantastically well together. But so does 8 o'clock, and that's what I'm going to stick with. But I'm really glad I got a chance to try this. I was curious about it, and it's uh, it's very, very good. So thank you, Mark. That was my obviously impromptu review of Holton Brown's Multitasker Coffee. And if you don't know who Alton Brown is, you should. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So, got to got to take the Halloween decorations down, which is Come on, get over there. That guy right right there. <laughs> he goes back in his box. I'm going to leave Boris and Bela up there for a while. I don't know where they're finally going to live. Uh, there are going to be bookshelves there at some point, so I gotta gotta find another home for them. Maybe they'll just slide down this way. Hey, I'm getting good at that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Working on pipes uh, yesterday and today. Uh, Tour, my friend, your stems are coming. I'm, I'm getting there. One of them, I'm, I'm afraid I might have to redo. Unfortunately, this is, this is going to be a uh, print stem. So that's, that's looking good. Everything's perfect there. But this guy, this guy, I'm a little worried about. So this is the pipe. This is a. Seven LE 115. Huh. That's a 115. But it's got this military mount stem. It's very unusual. And you can see the profile there. Unusual in my experience. I shouldn't say it's unusual. But in my experience, it's unusual. So, Tour wanted me to uh, replicate that. And that's what I'm trying to do here. But I'm afraid that I undercut the... But that obviously has not gone all the way in because of the tape. But I think I've just got it a little bit too narrow there at the base. Like right in this area, I think I'm just a little too narrow. But I'm going to shape it out and see. Uh, it's hard to tell when it's, you know, when it's not yet uh, really cut. So we'll be working on that today. Justin Aldrich's pipes for the auction. That's the uh, what we were calling the tomato. Still need to pipe mud it, uh, pipe mortar it, and do a final polish on the stem. But that's pretty much what it's going to look like—a little chunky tomato and a. What we were calling a prince. I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in that stem. It's a saddle stem. Uh, it's got a nice bend on it because the the walls of this got a bit thin. But 
Right, I think it's a nice little accent. So that'll have a bend to it. Again, got to polish up the uh, the stem, and she'll be pretty much ready to go. Oh, got to do some drilling and pipe mortar in there, but yeah. So they're ready, and I'm gonna. I want to check in with uh, Justin's widow and make sure that she's okay with everything. And then we will have the auction probably the second week of November during the Friday live stream. And we'll be all auctioning off those two pipes as well as uh, some very generous gifts from James Stumbo. He, he sent uh, two pipe racks, two pipe holders, uh, a tobacco tray that's just gorgeous and a knife so, uh, that, that I believe he made. He made all of them. I'm pretty certain he made the knife as well. So they will be uh, up for auction. And I have a tin of something special that has a frog on it that I'm going to be including in the auction as well. And this is just to get some... If you don't remember... Uh, my friend Justin Aldrich, uh, member of the YTPC, met him through comments on my channel, uh, fly tire, and, and a good friend. Uh, he passed away earlier this year uh, from Crohn's disease, and I, I want to do something for his family. He had a lot of kids. I think he had six children, some of them quite young. I think the youngest is like two or three years old. And I know they're going to appreciate a little bit of extra cash uh, for the holidays upcoming. So, not this Friday, this coming Friday, but next Friday, we'll do the auction. Come with your hearts and your wallets open. I was, it was very touching to me when I talked about this on a live stream how people just immediately started jumping in and you know James said oh absolutely I'm gonna send you stuff and within like a week he said it's in the mail um, you know J Justin was a member of the YTPC but he never made a YouTube video he he never you know other than commenting on different videos he he was he was kind of in the background but he was a really good man and to see this community Pull together like that uh, for someone that they really never knew. I it touched me, touched me deeply. So anyway, I'm going to get in touch with uh, his his wife and and just I'm sure everything's going to be okay with her. But I just want to make sure because I'd like to be able to use a picture of him and and things like that. And I don't want to do that if she's uncomfortable with it. So, but we'll we'll get it. We'll get it done. So that's pretty much what's going on for the rest of the day. I believe the wife is going shopping. And I'm hoping that I'm not. We shall see. I better go change my shirt or she'll take me clothes shopping. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I just, I'm in my house. I'm not planning to go anywhere right now. And I'd rather be comfortable than, I, I guess I should try to dress up for you. I'm not going to dress up for you guys. Do you dress up to watch me? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm getting a little silly. So I'm going to call this video to a close. Uh, thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You all have a great Sunday. I hope you're looking forward to a fantastic week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.